Towson University and the Under Armour Underclass Highlight Division Championship game. It's Washington, D.C. against Baltimore. Booker Corrigan and Bob Shriver back in the saddle again, Bob. Bob, we know a lot about the Baltimore team. What do you know about the D.C. team other than Casey O'Neill is a fantastic individual, the head coach of the D.C. squad. He's got some guys out there who are ready to win. Well, in this game, Booker, on, on our roster sheet, we can see the commitments that many of these kids have for their colleges. And, you know, it's as you might expect, it's kind of a who's who of Division I colleges uh, for both squads. Um, Good stuff. That's all I got to say. DC's face-off specialist, number 20, Andrew Tyar, is headed to UNC and considered one of the best in the country. He helped St. Stephen St. Agnes beat, amongst other teams this year, the Hill Academy in from Canada. That's a big win. That's a tremendous win. You and I saw them play in the Geico Summer Nationals. Yes, that they won, we might add. That they were the champions. You know, that they were the champions of for the second straight year. So, uh, and I'm looking at number 21, this defenseman, Ben Weyer, who's a St. Stephen, St. Agnes kid headed to Ohio State. And look at this kid. Maybe it's the difference between freshmen and sophomores, and now we're seeing juniors and seniors. Uh, there's some monsters on this field. Okay, what you just saw there was a clip from the Under Armour All-American underclass lacrosse games. Washington, D.C. played Baltimore in the finals. The games were held earlier this month in July 2018. For those of you that are looking to play high-level lacrosse, this should definitely be something you look into to go to the tryouts, and there's teams across the country. So here you can see the homepage for these games. This is for the games for last year or 2018, which were, like I said earlier this month. There's basically, to have the underclass tryouts, there's a tab right here. This will all be repeated again next year for 2019, but it's something to set your sights on and work towards if you want to be a big time player, for sure. So it gives all the info right here on the tryout info. You can register. It costs some money to go to the tryouts. This page is just pulling up here, so we'll see. So to try out, it's basically 200 bucks. You can see right there. There's teams across the country. You see here, there's a team in Baltimore, team in Connecticut, team in Long Island. There's a Midwest team. There's a New England team, a New Jersey team a Philly team, a team from the South, and a team from the Southwest, a team from the West, a team from Washington, D.C., and a team from Upper State, New York. So there's regions where you can find the tryouts and try to get to. The Washington, D.C. team, the head coach is Casey O'Neill. He's the head coach at Gonzaga. That's who I coach with here in Washington, D.C. The head coach of the West is Coach Zissi, who I played with in college at Tufts. So actually, there's a lot of familiar names on this list here. Matt Kerwick is the head coach of the South. Right there, you can see him and I coached together at Georgetown several years ago, and we've stayed in touch ever since. He's now the head coach at IMG down in Florida. So there's some information on the games. I was able to hit up a practice before they had the games with Coach O'Neill, so I'm going to show you some of those clips now. Okay, so I'm here filming. This is a uh, two sides pick drill where you get some wing picks. Both guys get shots. Coaches are feeding to the picker up top after he rolls off. So you can kind of see these good players. Keep in mind, this is the DC team here, right? Um, after they made the team. So this is after tryouts. This is one of the practices they had before the games that I showed you the clip of. This team made it to the finals and lost to Baltimore, which I showed you at the beginning of. All right, this next drill is just a V-cut to, to shoot. They have their stick heads high. They're catching the ball first and they're finishing on the run, getting lots of reps. Just an easy shooting drill you can throw in there, you know, at the end of uh, some sort of offensive segment or whatever it is. Just gets a lot of shots, gets the guys moving a little bit, cutting in and out for a good look.
right, here I want you to pay attention because you can see this midi catching and then after he shoots, he's gonna be looking upfield the opposite way. So his rotation goes, this is the exact same stuff that Scotty Yurk teaches in our lock shooting mastery. Uh, just good fundamentals right there. This is gonna be on like some YouTube, man. We'll get this thing on video. You guys have music at your practices? Would you like music at your practices now? You would? We, we do probably once or twice a week. Okay, here you can see, I just wanna point out some really good defensive breakdown here by the long pole right there. Just shuffling his feet, staying on his hands. And then up here by the D mid. Just staying on his guy, like really rotating with that guy, getting with him. That's just Keep good moving. breakdown defense. Those guys playing at speed. Good cut, Emmett. Good look. Okay, here I want to point out some split separation. There's a good one right there. Defender does a pretty good job, but it's just sustained dodge and eventually gets a decent shot. B2B lax, we talk about split separation a lot. Uno! Uno! Getting that half a step to a step where you can get the defensive slide, create some offense. Ball's out of bounds, coming off, and the ball's going to come up back up top. Transfer the ball! And then we're going to see another, it's going to come back to this 143, another good split separation right there. Drew the adjacent slide. I save. All right, what do I want to show here is just the clip. They're playing Push. a lot of six on Push. six here off a of face off got. one end, and there's some real good players on this DC team, as are all the Under Armour underclass teams. We're going right up. But here you can just see that's Schellenberger. He's going to Virginia. You give these guys an open space, and it's going to be. Time and room is going to be a goal, hands down. All uh, right, here we just got a different view here. Just That's wanted to show, good. Just, honestly, just good offense and good defense all all around. Defense makes a stop good here, work. and I just want you to notice Ooh. there's a goalie save, and he's getting the ball up and out right away. Yeah, That's way to get up and well. out. Hey, was he shutting and that adjacent pass game, off? Be a transition opportunity. All right, last clip I wanted to talk about. You're going to hear the coach in the background talking about transferring the ball. What that means is when they pick the ball up, say, on this near side sideline where Coach O'Neill is, the ball goes down. They want to get that ball over to the opposite side of the field near the building like right away. You can see Coach talking about that. That's going to score. We're going to score Get away, get the ball moving to the other side, attack that side where the defense would be vulnerable. Hey, get, find your shape and go Uno! Find your shape and go Uno! Uno, Charlie, Uno! Good talk, Connor Robinson. Here we go, Uno! Charlie, get up top! There he is! <laughs> Transfer the ball, pick it up and transfer. Go PJ, move Jonathan. I say. Hey, Coach Miller here. And I wanna to talk to you for a minute because I got a question for you. Why are you still here? And what I mean by that is, why are you still here on YouTube looking up lacrosse videos? Well, I'll tell you why. 
It's because you're looking for those tips, tricks, drills, and advice because you want to take your game to the next level. And I think that's pretty awesome, actually, that you're not on the field right now or in the gym, but instead you're at home on your computer or tablet looking up how to get better at a sport that I love, and you're doing it on your own time. It tells me that you love the game too, and you're probably pretty passionate about getting better. Well, I want you to watch something because I think it will be right up your alley. We spent a whole day with Mike Kimmel, an absolute beast of a lacrosse player, a college All-American at Hopkins, and a multiple MLL All-Star. And we worked on putting together a completely free three-part training series for youth and high school players just like you. Because here's the thing, and don't get me wrong, I love YouTube, and here at BTB we have a big YouTube channel with a ton of videos and whatnot because we want people to see it and improve. But a big problem with YouTube and with what you're doing right now, searching for videos just like the one you watched, is that it's unfocused. It's like you get this one tip or trick or fix or whatever it is. And I'll be honest with you, what you really should be doing is zeroing in on the two things that a lot of big time players just like Mike say are the two specific things that are really holding kids back from playing at their next level. Your offhand and your off ball play. Once you've got full confidence in your offhand, it opens up the entire field for you and effectively doubles your options, whether the ball's in your stick or not. In your off-ball play, well, I can tell you that for about 90% of the time in a game, you don't have the ball. But the impact you can have on a game by making the right moves and decisions off-ball is staggering. So when I said earlier that we worked with Mike for a full day on the training series, that's what we focused on, like a laser. If you go through this free training, you're going to see the results right away. Trust me, thousands of kids have already gone through it, and that's the feedback we've gotten. Game changing. So, tell you what, stop browsing YouTube for the next 15 minutes, and right now go watch the first video in our three-part free training series with Mike Kimmel. Down below there's a link in the description of this video that will take you straight to a page where you just enter your email and will instantly send you the first training. We'll send you the next two pieces over the next couple days. Can't wait to see you on the inside. Have a good one.